So, this is the F32. Again, it's the, the mid-sized uh, sound box. Um, F, the 32 stands for Indian Rosewood on the back sides and Sitka Spruce on the soundboard. In some ways, you know, the, the 32 model is these days perhaps our most popular uh, model overall. Um, I think it's because in many ways it's a classic uh, combination. You know, all the, a lot of the very famous uh, guitars from other brands, you know, use this combination of Indian Rosewood and Sitka Spruce. I think primarily because it's so versatile so predictable um, and also very good from a long-term point of view that the stability is there and that's not to say stability isn't there in the other models it is but the rosewood sitka combination is one that has stood the test of of time um, in the old days way back in the um, mid 70s uh, I designed what I then called the L32, which was the larger body than this, but which also had the rosewood and Sitka. So it's almost the same, but with a mid-sized body. And the tone is maybe the most versatile of all the, of all the tones that, of all the guitars that we that we make. The tone is more um, uh, transferable from one style to the other, and I think that's the wood combination. It's it's warm because of the rosewood. It's clear because of the Sitka. Um, Sitka spruce comes from, well, it doesn't only come from Sitka, but it comes mostly from Alaska and from the Pacific rim, rim of, the, of the States. Um, beautiful wood. It comes from very, very old trees. Sometimes these trees are um, 6, 10, 12, uh, 18 feet in diameter. Some of them are absolutely huge very very old and again um, I as far as I know these days it only comes from fall downs that is trees that have come down naturally uh, at the end of their life I don't think the really old trees are allowed to be um, cut down anymore and if that's the case which I think it is then so much the better you know so the, the, the tone is warm very fat, you know. There's no, um, there's no coldness about it whatsoever. And if you play it with the fleshy part of your thumb, it just seems to have a little bit of everything in there, and it's one of the reasons why it's very popular. Because I've kept the frills out of this model, that, that, that means the, the 25, the 32, the 23, those models, uh, they don't have any cosmetic frills, so there's no abalone around the sound hole, there's no bindings uh, apart from ebony on the fingerboard. It's just a really simple but beautifully made instrument. All of the other things are still in there that we do in all of the guitars, like the Dolphin Profile Bracing, for example, still in there. Uh, the Dolphin Profile Bracing is the biggest single reason why my guitars have their signature kind of tone, where we hand carve all of the struts after we glue them on to a very specific profile. That if you looked at the strut, every strut, whether it was you know this length or this length from the side, it looks like a dolphin's back. So it's a parabolic curve. 
And the reason that I've done that is to even up the stiffness over the surface of the whole soundboard. If you just leave the sound the struts all the same size, all the same height, then where a strut approaches the side of the guitar, where it's very stiff, um, you would create even more stiffness with the strut, which wouldn't be a good idea. So all the struts are profiled in a very specific way, by hand, using Japanese chisels, um, to voice the soundboard and make them uh, make the soundboard vibrate evenly, whether it's with the basses or the middles or the trebles. So even on the 25s, the 32s and the 23s, which are our original series, um, still we do all of the same things that we do on the 35s and the 50s and the 38s. So this is the 32. When you play a chord like that, it's quite bright, but when you play down there, it's, it's warmer, it's fuller, and if I was to play this in the O model, which is the bigger one, if I was to play an O32, um, you would get an even bigger, more resounding, wider kind of sound. This has more focus, so if you're sitting opposite me, the sound kind of hits you in the gut when you play it. So, there you go, that's the F32. Mm -hmm. 